Hello everyone. What you're looking at is a new guitar I've been working on. Uh, this is Nando's guitar. He got it off someone for like 60 bucks. Like, I guess if I remember the story right, he was, you know, it was either someone he was working with or someone, you know, knew he was a guitar player and they said, oh, I have this cheap guitar. Do you want to uh, buy it off me? And I needed a humbucker guitar. And so I decided to uh, steal it from him so now I have it I've done some modifications here now originally it was just it's a, a Squire affinity strat and I had this pickup well the pickguard didn't work but uh, the pickups I had a everything axe pickguard and I took the pick that thing has been on I used to have a strat plus a fender strap plus from the 90s and that those that pickguard was on there and then it was on my brother's strat for a while and then i put it on this one because i was like at the time i had a prs seven string and i was trying to like i was like into the down tunings and i was trying to get you know oh here try this out it sounds heavy you know and i put baritone strings on this and i put these pickups in and then the the switch here broke he pilfered uh, one of the tuners. Uh, he put it on his Schecter. And then I, I had a backup. So I always have a backup of everything. So I had a backup seven string. And it was a Jackson, like the cheapest Jackson seven string you can get. And it came, one of the tuners was missing. Here you go. It was missing the back piece. It still worked. So I put that on there. And then the re here's the other tuners right here. They basically one of them was pretty much seized up where you it took a lot of force to turn it. Even you know the little screw at the end. Even when I loosened that, it was just something was wrong with it. And the other four couldn't hold a tune. Like they would just keep going flat, 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 flat. So I bought these Wilkinson Easy Tune tuners and. I don't know if you can see it, but they have two sets of holes in them. And you basically wrap the string around it and yeah, it locks it in. So it's kind of like a locking tuner without the mechanism, which I kind of like. And then basically, as you can see right here, I sanded off the logo and I added linseed oil to you know dark because once you sand off the finish it's really pale white so i put linseed oil and i might put like a custom moniker uh, on there and then over here the switch broke and so i went and got uh, i had a fender five-way switch but the problem with that is the fender five-way switch is too deep for the cavity these these bodies are super thin so I had to bore out a bunch of wood and I'm almost to like the back of the guitar on the wood and it's still, there's still, see that little bit of raise there? That's from the switch. And yeah, it's the best I could do. It was like a lot higher before. I just put a little piece of copper tape over the hole because I just, I'm not going to use the hole, you know, why, uh, well, I have it bare, you know, never bare your hole. Um, I tightened up here. This has a Switchcraft jack. I tightened that up. This has full size pots. I don't know if this was from the Everything Axe pick guard or not, but uh, now everything is pretty much, except for the bridge, everything has kind of been replaced. As of everything else, like the neck is fine. <laughs> there's not really any fret sprout. You know, it, there's no buzzing uh, frets. And then we go on to the pickups. And the thing about the pickups is the JB Jr. I love the JB Jr. In fact, I'm I I want a pickup like this for the telly. This is like the perfect mini humbucker or single coil size humbucker there is. Like I could do that with like a hot strap pickup in the middle and then maybe a quarter pounder. Like I have the quarter pounder set for telly, like the quarter pounder neck, I really like that. That would be the perfect, that would be my everything axe. But 
the problem with this set is bridge pickups perfect it's thick it still sounds good clean the distortion's amazing beautiful love it this one this sounds better than i remember it and this this one it doesn't sound half i remember it being super bassy which it doesn't sound super bassy anymore but the problem is, is i have it really cranked up i don't know if you can see that but I mean, if you put the uh, old finger down at the thing, it's pretty dang close and the output is just, where's my hand at? Oh, here we go. That, it's like almost, you know, and the output is not there. And I, I don't know if it's cause if you can see the strings don't totally line up, but this pickup would be a lot better if it was louder. And it's not as bassy as I remember, so, you know, and I don't have any other guitars with a humbucker in the in the neck. I know these aren't real humbuckers, but they're as close as I am getting at the time, especially for, you know, all I did was buy new uh, tuners and everything else I had on hand. So, yeah, this is going to be my, my, you know, pseudo humbucker guitar for now because, yeah, everything I have has single coils in it and for especially for gain it's nice to have something with humbuckers just to add a different you know flavor to it and even on clean you know the uh, the this sounds good clean it's it's a different flavor of clean than your single coil you know so i think next week i'm going to do a video where i'm going to compare the mini humbucker or the single coil size humbucker versus four-way switch versus just rolling down the treble a little, you know, on the single coil. I like to hear how close it kind of gets to, you know, a single size uh, humbucker because this sounds amazing to me. Like I haven't compared this to a full size JB, but I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I'd want anything more than this. This just sounds perfect. So I might do a video next week comparing them, showing, you know, how close does rolling off the tone get and how close does the four-way switch, which is supposed to be, you know, kind of like a humbucker and all that stuff. And yeah, I'll, I'll do a video. Yeah, I just wanted to show my, I love tinkering on guitars. I was going to film actually tinkering on it, but getting the, the tiny screws because the, the original the original tuners don't have that extra screw like uh, like that, see on the side right there. And so I had to get a drill bit to put the screws in and it was a whole fiasco. And essentially something that should have been really quick ended up taking like all day. And, but I had fun. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a good one.